feel it? Tom, can you feel it? You're not hyped. He's not hyped. I'm hyped, though. Tom is hyped. Are you hyped? I'm hyped. Oh, and I you're feel hyped. it. Okay, I can't believe I just quoted that dud Mojo Raleigh. Oh. Strong intro. Strong intro. Oh, yeah. To another Rude Nation special. Oh, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. We got the hype issues. We got the hype, baby. The Rude hype. Nation, you feeling the hype? Rude Nation, are you hyped? You better get fucking hyped. Get hyped, baby, because 2019 is going to come in, hit you like a fucking steamroller. Okay? Steamroller's a thing, right? Yeah. That's the thing that rolls. Okay, cool. That uses steam and rolls? Yeah. Steamroller. Oh, fuck up. Ooh, yeah. Tom, who you are. I am Tom, yes. And I am Sherm. Oh. And we are the Rude Boys. And this is the Rude Boys Power Hour we, Plus. We form the Rude Boys. I'll form the head. I'll take head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God, <laughs> rip and start. Damn. Tom's hype. I'm hype. Rude Nation, you hype. Hype for another episode there of you the go. Rude Boys Power Hour Plus and hype for 2019 because we are going to talk about all the hype, all the shit, all the great, great things that are coming out in this year. And it's going to be a lot, Nation. This this fucking episode, man, is going to be bloated. Oh, oh yeah. It's going to be bloated like... Okay, Tom and I got a ton of stuff to talk about. It's gonna we be... got a lot of news to talk about. Go ahead, Tom. It's going to be bloated like a bloated zombie in a video game. <laughs> okay, we might be talking about something like Ooh, that. Ooh, yeah. seals. And obviously, 2019 mm, is bloated with hype. Yeah. We're going to talk about all this hype. Bloated like my balls. So let's get going, Tommy. But first, who do you got in your mouth? I got our good friend, Miller High Life. That's it, baby. Who's in yours? Mm. Oh, yeah, Miller High Life as well. Woo! Champagne and beers. Clink it up, baby. <laughs> boom, boom. I already got hiccups because I ate my McDonald's too fast. Yeah. <sighs> Tom's hype for that drink. <clears throat> okay. Get hyped for that. All right, great. That was, that was some hype for that. Uh, I'm hyped for Blitzkrieg. You hyped for Blitzkrieg? I'm fucking hyped. Let's hip. Hip. The 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 hip. Blitzkrieg. All right, we're starting this off in video game news, still, as per usual. It's going to be the Blitzkriegiest Blitzkrieg news you ever did Blitzkrieg. No, it won't. Uh, Hyperkin to release an HD TV comparable NES Zappa. Yep, I think it's called like the Hyper Blast HD. I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically a... But it has the word hype in it. It does have... Yeah, oh my <laughs> God, it's been meant to be. Yes, yeah, so this is a high-definition compatible television zapper that you can use to play all your light gun games for the NES. Uh, like Duck Hunt, Wild Gunman, Hogan's Alley, To the Earth, uh, Adventures of Bayou Billy, uh, Did you say Duck Hunt? Gun Shoe? I said Duck Hunt. Okay, I, I kind of... Track and Field 2. Uh, there's like eight You more. didn't shoot people in Track and Field? There was a skeet shooting game. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. You didn't shoot people? Why? Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, they announced it at uh, CES... And we're going to get more information later in this year. So get hyped for that. Word. Next. Smash Ultimate DLC leaked. What um, was leaked, Chris? This is, this is... Whoa, Tom. Hang on. Hang on to your hats now. Let me just tell you this right now. Rude Nation. This... Put this under the rumor pile. Of course. This comes from a reputable source that kind of told us about um, some data mining issues coming out of Smash, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So what they are uh, rumored to be DLC'd? <laughs> anyway, what's possibly going to be coming out to Goku. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? No. Okay. Uh, so you got Joker already announced from Persona Five. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, okay. thank you. Oh boy! Whew. Uh, you just saved. You just saved that. I thought I was going to have to delete Smash they're Brothers. They're also going to be rumored to be um, the uh, main character from Dragon Quest. Who I believe it goes goes in the name of Erdrick. No, Goku. <sighs> same act, same artists, but different name. Different name, yes. Also in the league, uh, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, a little bit out of left field for this one. The next two, the uh, the guy from Minecraft, Steve. Steve from Minecraft. Fucking Steve. Right? Fucking Steve. Um, which is would be pretty huge to have all these, um, you know, because Minecraft is developed by Mojang, which is owned by Microsoft. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things at play. This is going to be out of the fucking... Stratosphere. Control. Yep. And uh, also uh, Doom Guy. Literally. The Marine from Doom. Okay, not Duke Nukem. Not Duke Nukem. Okay, no. cool. Never Duke Nukem. 
Wow, that would be hysterical. But, yeah, there's a... Okay. That's a leak. We'll see what happens. Yep. We'll see. And, obviously, rumor. File it under rumor. Get hyped if it's real. Still no Banjo-Kazooie, huh? Well, I... <laughs> well, some, some of the some of the things may be like no, maybe I, Steve from Minecraft has right. a Banjo Kazooie skin or a Master Chief skin. Right, like it, right. it's gonna be okay. It's wild, weird, wild stuff. Or spirits. There's spirits in the game now. Spurts. 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 Squirts. SNES games coming to Switch Online. That is fucking awesome. Something, I am hyped well, for that. Something one. else. Something else under the rumor mill. Nation. Tommy. Nation. Tommy. Tommy. Nation. Again from another data mine. Womp womp. That's what I say to rumors. Uh, the, the data mine basically leaked that through the uh, Nintendo Switch online service that there were a bunch of NES, uh, I'm sorry, Super NES games that okay. were listed. So, like, you got your heavy hitters, like your Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Link word, to the Past. Word. And then some weirder ones like Stunt Race FX, which make it seem almost like that's kind of how they're pulling their NES catalog. So that's probably what, what they're going to be doing for their Super Nintendo catalog. That'll get me on board day one or sure. day 100 or whatever. Yeah. Whenever Let me just uh, get o- with something off my chest real quick. Okay. Konami, get off your fucking high horse and put fuck- fucking let Nintendo put fucking Contra on there. But- and fucking Castlevania, you fucking Konami bitches. And the original Metal Gear. Yeah. But more Contra and... Actually, what's Contra Konami? Contra was Konami. Yes! Awesome. I thought it was Activision. I thought I was yelling at the wrong developers. Activision. Yeah, I know. Activision. Here we go. All right, cool. We're... I don't remember that slogan at all. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was a slogan. Trust me. All right. What else we got? Bunch of Nintendo release dates. Chris, go. All right, cool. So uh, t- uh, on Twitter, Nintendo of America announced that they have a um, March release date for Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, which is a uh, port of the, or enhanced port for the Wii game that came out. Extra Yarn? Extra Epic Yarn. Oh, I thought you said Yarn. Like a tail. Like a tail. Spit me a yarn. Tell me a tail. Anyway, that face proved it. And then That's uh, not a term. Yes, it is. Look it up. Look it up. I, I will. I will. Okay, you're welcome. We gotta get through bl- Blitzkrieg. Also a March release for Yoshi's Crafted World, which is a follow-up for uh, Yoshi's Woolly World off the Wii U. Um, pretty interesting stuff. Very nice looking graphics or something. Something I'd probably pick up. Man, you're a slack toy. <laughs> it's just really like derp. You're <laughs> not you sell- you're, you're more, not selling please. me. You're not selling me. I, you know what? These games aren't for you. But people, uh, Nintendo Switch fans, uh, just get hyped. And Nerds. Nintendo 3DS fans also because uh, that's what Kirby's coming out for. It's, uh, 3DS baby, still kicking and breathing. Nope. Not also, in this house. hey, also, what was announced with an April release date? Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen. Dragon Ball Z. No, that's coming later. Okay. Dra- uh, Dragon's Dogma, it's a Capcom game, pretty much like their um, send-up to the Obliv- uh, Elder Scrolls series. Okay. I remember... Uh, I, okay. No, I, I I remember Dogma. That was okay. where Ben Affleck and Matt Damon were trying to get back into a church so they can become angels again, right? Uh, that is the movie Dogma, oh, correct? Oh, shit, shit. Okay, yeah. gotcha. But they were dragons, right? Your, your guess is as good as mine. I think they were angels. Or devils? I don't remember. Fallen, Fallen angels, angels right? dad. Mm. Barr. Barr. <laughs> what else, Tommy? Bungie is now self-publishing Destiny. Good for them. Cool. Um, they had like a, a couple-year uh, agreement with Activision, who that must have been obviously where that Activision pull came Activision. from. Activision, really. play the game. Yep. They, oh, that one I remember, definitely. Was it? Nope. And okay, cool. so that's good for Bungie, um, in the sense that if the game succeeds, then they get all the cr- all the credit. But okay. unfortunately, if they hit any sort of roadblock or anything like that, then they get all the brunt of the criticism and stuff like that. Okay. So, hey, you know what? That that's cool. Bungie has a huge cred cred with uh, Halo series and now Destiny, and you know, Destiny One kind of right. was was a thing, and then Destiny Two, I think, kind of fixed a lot of the problems. Wouldn't know. Never played it. Right. Good for you, Bungie. Cool. Great. I got it free from Blizzard. Okay. Yeah. How was it? I got free from Blizzard. Okay, cool. <laughs> Price was right, I guess. <sighs> Fuck. All right. EA. Here we go. Say the news t- story first. EA might have canceled that Star Wars game. Oh. You fucking hyped this up. Hype. You pieces of baby garbage. And now you're canceling it? You know what? Why don't you guys just... Cancel yourselves and all, all of you eat fucking cyanide pills. We're going to move on. Um, no, I, I need to talk about this because this is some news that, that, that kind of developed. This was a breaking story when it happened. 
that's a dumb thing to say. So the uh, EA, the Star Wars game that is in question is the one that kind of came out of the ashes of the whole Visceral game studio's closure. Right. The Star Wars game they were working on, and that got canceled. Uh -huh. It pretty much got built up back again into this other game. Rumor has it, again, Rumor Watch, that they are kind of just postponing this game because of the uh, timetable on it. Okay. Um, everyone is kind of in the impression that in 2020, we're going to be getting some, definitely going to be getting some new consoles. So, not having a big time Star Wars game in that time frame might be a hindrance. So, I think what's going to happen is they're going to focus on maybe a quicker release Star Wars game. You still got the one coming out from uh, Respawn, the Titanfall guys. And hopefully that one might be the big, the next big Star Wars game coming out maybe 2020. But this game that is quote unquote canceled it might see the light of day at some point. Couldn't tell you. Rumor, watch it. EA. Still doing some shady shit, Tommy. <laughs> Fuck you, EA. Yep, there it is. Yeah, cunts. New DBZ game in, dev in development this year. New season of Dragon Ball Fighter Z DLC to be announced at the game tournament finals. Yep. Whew. That that's was pretty mouthful. much. That's all you got to say about that. Yeah. Yep. I still okay, have cool. yet to play uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Same. Ball Z and Fighters. you know what? You know what game showed up in our 2018 hype episode? Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters. Words. Yep. Get ready Good for more. Get ready for more disappointment, nation. Yeah. Oh, we're listing a ton of shit. We're blo it's bloated. Oh yeah. Bloated oh, I'm bloated. I'm so fucking bloated, my ass. All right. Mortal Kombat <laughs> Eleven uh, event. So that happened today, as of recording. All oh, right. Yeah, I saw a bunch of celebrities and wrestlers. Yep. Being on Twitter, being like, "Hey, I got, I got my invite." Yep, so they got a, uh, a couple trailers came out. They uh, announced, obviously, Scorpion and Raiden were in the uh, initial trailer reveal. Sub-Zero's in the mix. Barack is in the mix. Sonya Blade, who is now going to be voiced by uh, WWE Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. Tom's eyes rolled into the back of his skull. Can we make her Irish and have Becky do it? That'd be a hundred times better than that fucking dud. Okay. Fucking Ronda Rousey. Tell me how you really feel. Oh, she's useless. Useless, pointless, and I... And we're gonna get to, to this later the, during the week. Okay. I hope fucking Sasha just pounds her face in. Alright. Anyway. So, yeah, it's still coming out uh, mid-November. Still coming out around uh, April 23rd, I believe. Um, a lot of rumor also if the Switch version is gonna make it on time. Um, it might in North America, maybe not internationally, but we're going to see what happens. You know what, I, you know what I, Get hyped. You know what I'm hyped for with Mortal Kombat 11? What are you hyped for? Me picking it up and you watching me play and being like, and being like hey, I'm going to borrow this from you. <clears throat> well, if it comes out on the Switch, I, I'll probably, I might pick it up. Ooh. I never play it. I like Mortal Kombat 9. I got to no, pick I up. You still have 10? Yeah. Yeah, maybe borrow that. Yep, Okay. Fantastic content coming to Spider-Man. So notice the quotes, Tom. I know. And how you impressed it. So this came out of, uh, they did this uh, Fantastic Four week <clears throat> at, over at Marvel Entertainment. And they talked about how the thing is going to be in Clash of Champions. Yes. Um, Dude, he's, yo. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. Oh, Tommy. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All right. All right. Get, no, say what you got to say. He fucking, he's a bitch to damage. Okay. But he has such fucking pillow fists, it annoys me. Like, he hits you, and he takes, like, nothing off. Really? And I'm like, dude, you should be fucking pounding ass. Really? Which I'm still wondering... I'm still he wondering to get his rocks how off. him and Alicia Masters bang. Um, so the, the Spider-Man news, obviously, yes. is that... So when the uh, first day of this live stream, Fantastic Four Week, came out, there was a... Uh, a little bit of a tease saying that some fantastic, in quotes, content is coming to Spider-Man over on PS4. Could be a costume, could be a mission pack, could be anything. Probably yeah. it's going to be a costume. It's, it, it's going to be the bag man. It's going to be the bag man, or it's yeah. going to be the uh, Future Foundation one. Or maybe Johnny Storm's going to fly around. You never know. Oh, we remember that race in oh, yeah, Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man. Spider yeah, that was a fucking nightmare and a half. And a half shell. Total power. Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja stop. Turtles. No, we're going to get flagged on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Fuck them. It's 
it's been over. All right, movies. Movie movie news. Movies. All right, movie movies, 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 movies. Movie news. All Avengers Endgame trailers will only show the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie, which I think is a brilliant marketing strategy, so this way nothing is getting super spoiled. Um, I agree. Though, with that last trailer, I'm good. I don't need to see anything else. Uh, even oh, yeah, no, I'm you sure. got my money already, but <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I, the trailer to me wasn't, I mean, I liked the trailer, but I wasn't like. You had, you had my money when Iron Man came out, so. Absolutely, yeah. You're yeah. talking about in fucking 2018, 2008. Yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. Cool. So you had my money right there. Right. Black Widow could be the first rated R MCU movie. Could be, yes. Which is another rumor. Pretty awesome. A lot of rumors today, Nation. But, yeah, which I mean, because Kevin Juicy F- rumors get hyped of the juicy rumors. Nation. Kevin Feig uh-huh. said he's it's not out of the question of doing R-rated. a rated R sure, movie. Sure, yeah. So, which is cool. And a character like Black Widow, I feel like could definitely Absolutely. embrace that rated R. I agree, especially like a nice dark spy thriller or something like that. One thousand percent, I agree. Hmm. Young Avengers movie coming? Could another again another rumor? Uh, yeah. A lot of the uh, Phase Four is still up in the air. Um, minus one movie we're going to talk about, and um, yeah, so there's talk about maybe a Young Avengers movie. Yeah, I mean, right now the, the only young person they have is Spider Man. Yeah, Tom Holland. If you want to even maybe throw um, Shuri. Yeah, yeah, that would be neat. Yep, I'd be all right with that. Cool. Uh, Matt Reeves, the Batman, to start filming this year. All right, yeah. It's pretty and cool. The, and the saga continues. Yeah. DC, no one cares. But your animated shit well, is... Well, how about... Hoi! Mm-hmm. Continue. What? What were you going to say? Um, another thing I wanted to add on this, uh-huh. uh, Aquaman made a fucking billion dollars. Yes. See, as, I've been, I, I, as I've been see, seeing, people have been putting one billion dollars. Yeah, and I'm I like, all right, guys, relax. That, yeah. You fucking nerds. Actually, fun fact with that, and I saw Ooh. I saw online that um, James Wan is now only one of two other directors who have made two billion dollar movies. Two comma billion dollar right, movies. Right, 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 right. And the other one is James Cameron. Yeah. Okay. With Avatar and Titanic. Okay. And James Wan did Fast Seven or something. Yeah, like, like yeah. fucking Paul Walker went off a cliff. Whatever. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> zing. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Crash. Oh, uh, Batman Long Halloween and Superman Red Sun animated feature coming. More oh. rumors. But hell, those are great stories. Those, uh, did you ever read them? No, but I know about them. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I just called you out right yeah, on the you spot? Did. Yeah, you did. Uh, yes, they are fantastic yeah. stories. Yeah. Uh, you, Mar- uh, Marvel, wow. Whew. Easy. DC DC is bloating their animated feature. Sure. You got Hush coming out. You have uh Justice League and the Fate uh Fatal Five coming out. You got mm. another Wonder Woman animated movie coming out. Right. So you got a whole bunch of shit. And coming that's what out. that's where their uh, strong point is. And Maybe that's what you should be sticking with. I agree. Unless you're Sony and keep making Spider Verse shit. Exactly. Which we'll get to. Ooh. Hype. Venom sequel officially to go at Sony. Yep. Because Marvel made, uh, Venom made all the money. Venom made a lot of fucking money. It really it fucking was. did. So it, good for you. Hopefully... It really did for a movie that got shat on. Yeah. Like, really shat on. I had no right to make all the money that it did. But it did. Yeah. And hopefully you can learn from it and make a more better movie. I don't know. A even more success, success. Ugh. Yeah, what you said. Next, yeah. Star Trek Four shelved. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, not, not a I'm sure fan, Tarantino but... is busy with his new movie coming out. Tarantino. Tarantino was. Is uh, he supposed to be doing that? Yes. What? And it's not. I don't think it's Star Trek Four. Yeah, it's Star Trek Four. Yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. All right. Oh my god. All right. Calm, the, calm your tits. Step to this. Ten Cloverfield Lane director Dan Trachtenberg to direct Uncharted movie, and Tom Holland to play Nathan Drake. Which I mean, that Tom Holland news I think came out like last April. I don't remember if we talked about it. I don't think it was rumored. I think it was rumored, but but it's official. But all this, well, yeah, all this news of the new director coming to the Uncharted movie is also now re. Verifying that Tom Holland's yeah. going to play young Nathan Drake. So what? What presumably this movie is going to be about is Tom. You played. Did you finish Uncharted Three? 
What's it going to be about? You you know the sequence, because I know it happened early mm-hmm. in the game, where it's young Nathan Drake. Yeah. It's going to be that. Okay. And him running around with Sully. Then just get Bruce Campbell to play Sully. Ooh. Which I'm all right with. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Fucking Hawaiian shirt wearing fucking Bruce Campbell. I like that. I'm cool with it. I like that. Yeah. And um, Make yeah, it this, so. this movie's been in fucking talks at like 10 years. It's like, it's not going to happen. Um, You don't think it's going to happen? I don't think it's going to happen. Right. A Ghostbusters film is coming in 2020. Yeah, this like just whoop it came just under. came right out. Yeah, like yeah, it's it's like just a, came a, right like at the right time. Yeah, um, it's directed by I think Jason Reitman, who something is, like that. Uh, Ivan Reitman, the original director of uh, the first two. Okay, Ghostbusters. I thought Harold Remus direct. Oh, he wrote. I think he wrote. Okay, um, and it takes place, I believe, in the original Ghostbusters universe. Yeah. And not the um, the more the recent girl. spinoff, yeah, the all female one. Yes, um, which whatever, cool. Yeah, um, hey, that's cool. More Ghostbusters. I'm down with that. I didn't. Did you see the trailer? I didn't. I saw the trailer. Okay, it cool. Was very, it was very the teaser very, trailer. Teaser trailer. Right. So the actor one. Saw a little bit of special effects. That's okay. It. You know what? Summer 2020. That's it. You know what wasn't a teaser trailer? What wasn't a teaser trailer, Tom? The Spider Man Far From <laughs> Home trailer. Oh, I. Yo, oh my god! I saw this trailer yesterday at work. I was walking around with a boner all day. Like, just fucking rock hard. Dude, that was a good trailer. It really was. was. Trailer. Like, and honestly, I had my doubts. I had my doubts also. But Jake Gyllenhaal looks pretty damn good as Mysterio. Mysterio looks fantastic. Yeah. I mean, in the little bit I've seen, Mysterio <laughs> looks fantastic. Yeah. I was seeing stills of him, like, you know, without the without the fishbowl. Yeah. In the suit. And I'm like, man, that suit is so fucking stupid. But Mysterio's suit is so fucking stupid. It really and they did a good job. The they did a perfect. Point. They did the like the cape has the perfect swirl up uh-huh. and then down. The little eyeball things on the yep. on the on the chest. The fucking the armor. The fucking weird, square weird yeah, gloves. Yeah. yeah, no, they they are, are doing it. Um, so I, we'll, we'll talk about it. He's gone on a little globe trotting adventure over in Europe, presumably, and he's trying to fight Mar- Mary Jane. Right, he's gonna fight the uh, elementals, which was something that they talked about already. Uh-huh. Um, but which is a classic Marvel villain group yes basically uh, four characters control air air earth fire water duh the elements there's rumor that they're going to be more typical spider-man villain names okay so it's going to be hydro man molten man uh sandman and electro because there is a lot of if you do look and, and as soon as this trailer came out that there was shit all over the place so there's a lot of like um, rumor, not rumor, says a lot of Easter eggs in the trailer where, like, before you see Hydro Man, a boat goes by and it says ASM uh, 121. Oh, which, which is, is amazing. First... Spider Man, Hydro, uh, yeah, uh, Hydro Man's first appearance. Okay, but now here's the thing. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, I was talking with uh, to this with my brother that because it seems like Mysterio is like trying to be a hero. Mm-hmm. Could these be like kind of illusions that he's making so it looks like he funny you should say that tom because it in mysterio's like that. original appearance that's exactly what he did yeah that's what he, i think and is... in it also if any you, you 90s kids will remember that's what he did in the animated series also yeah. he made himself look the hero yep in order to gain popularity popularity yeah basically there you go. that's what he did which you know if it happens don't be surprised yep because all these books came out fucking decades ago. Fucking decades hyped. ago. I'm so fucking hyped for yeah, Far no. From Home. It looks really fucking good. <clears throat> July 5th? Something like that. July 5th, July 8th. We'll right talk about there. it later. Okay, cool. We're a hype episode of awesome. hype. Hype, 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 hype. TV. Okay, TV news. Final season Game of Thrones 2 premiere April 14th. Yep, that was announced. Teaser trailer. I think the Golden Globes or some shit. I don't know. Some shit like that. I am actually kind... Like, I was watching a football game. Mm-hmm. And... Mm, I think a trailer came out during a football game. And they were doing a H, like an HBO trailer, and they spoiled, like, I feel was a major fucking thing. For it. Sansa meeting Daenerys. Yeah, I was like, you mother, you. They got to They got to give you that though. So now you're I talking, know. talking about it. They got to. But give now, do. Something. See, all right, we'll get to that in we'll the hype. That, I think. Baby. Yeah, we'll get to that. All right, cool word. New York Times says Into the Spider Verse TV spinoffs could be happening. Yep, and another more rumor. <laughs> But hey, more Spider Verse stuff. Uh, it, it's a little murky when it comes to TV rights with 
Spider-Man specifically because uh, Sony, it's a shared movie property and Disney. Uh, it's yeah, smarky. I don't know. We'll it's see murky. What it's murky. But everyone at the table would be fools to ignore it. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. Charlie Cox wants to team up with Tom Holland. That would be awesome. That would... All right, keep it in your pants, Chris. Oh, my God. That's the one thing, man. That's the one thing. I that want. would be cool. And then hopefully you can get Sad Face, uh, you know, John, whatever. John Bernthal. Who plays Punisher. Punisher. And then Apparently Punisher's already canceled. Motherfucking Wilson Fisk. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, why wouldn't you? We'll go with that. Why are you gonna random my parade? Well, why you gotta why you gotta ran on my hype parade? Why can't you watch TV better? <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Love you, Lady Sif series coming to Disney Plus? Question mark? Yep, more rumors. <laughs> I like the fact that I said question mark. Yep. Uh, we still got to uh, get more information on the Disney Plus streaming service. Yeah, but Which, honestly, with Netflix. Jacking their prices up to this past week. We'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, content is king. So exactly, we shall say. I agree, one hundred percent. Wrestling news. Lots of wrestling Let's news. Let's hit it, baby. Wrestling. Kenny Omega done with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Could possibly be going to either AEW right. or WWE. Right. I'm sure he's going to AEW because that's where his buddies are. So you're right. But we'll uh, see. we shall see. Yep. We shall see, and we will talk about it. We shall talk about it. WWE announces World's Collide Tournament for Royal Rumble Access Weekend. Did you hear about this, Tom? Uh, <laughs> no, because they have an Access Weekend for all their big ones now. Well, yeah, but I mean, have you heard about this tournament in particular? No. Okay, so what the po- tournament is, it's a 15-man tournament. It's going to involve the three different brands. So you got NXT, mm-hmm. 205 Live, and I believe NXT UK. you got five superstars from each brand. Okay. And they're going to be in a tournament. The winner of that tournament can challenge any of those three champions. Hmm. Regardless of weight class or okay. region or whatever. Right, so Braun Strowman's <clears throat> going to be wrestling no, 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 no. like... Did I say WWE? Oh, I yeah. Say yeah, WWE. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, and I mean, the, some of the names include, from NXT, Adam Cole, Velveteen Dream. Over on UK, I believe it's like Tyler Bate. And on like 205 Live, you got um, Cedric Alexander. Check all the names online. It, it's this weird tournament situation that they got going on. And it is going to be broadcast on the network at okay. some point. Maybe not live, but at some point. The tournament's weird. It starts off at a battle royal. The winner of that battle royal gets a bye into the second round. Okay. Because it's 15, obviously. It's not, you know, so right. that everyone else brackets off into that. Um, could be cool, man. I'm a big fan of tournaments. Oh, yeah? And it's I know like, you are. It's like a weird interbrand, but same umbrella tournament. Okay. So... That's cool. Cool. I will look forward to seeing it. Yes, me too. <laughs> WWE also unveils their new performance center in the UK. Something I had no idea was a thing. Like, I know they wanted to get a foothold in the European market, specifically the United Kingdom, oh, they with did. NXT yeah. UK. I had no idea they were building a performance center until they announced that, hey, here's our performance center. Apparently, they're tr- they're, like, buying people, like companies out and then close notes. They're, 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 there is some shady shit They're being on. EA. Like, yeah. They're being very EA about it, which is right, not kosher. But, I mean, but, but they're looking out for the greater good and, you know, the, the, the future of their product. Which, yeah, because you know, they can, should be scared happen. right now. Um, again, we'll talk about it. Take it easy. Yeah, they will. No, I don't think they will. WWE will crown the first ever women's tag team champions. The belts look... They look pretty fucking awesome. They look pretty fucking cool, look man. Pretty awesome. I'm glad they didn't make them like, hey, look, they're pink. Right, and, and I'm glad they're, it's a new mold. <laughs> like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like when I saw... It's not like, here are some pennies. Yeah, exactly. Here's like a lady. Here's like a... a, a Susan B. Anthony. Like. Yeah, exactly. Fuck oh, it. There you go. Susan B. Anthony, here, your belt tastes like pennies. <laughs> okay. Enjoy, ladies. Uh, yeah, no, they look pretty cool. And this is going to get... I believe crowned at the WWE Elimination Chamber. Yes. It's this weird Elimination Chamber match where it's three teams from SmackDown, three teams from Raw. Yeah. And, yep, there you go. New. Uh, uh, funnily enough, 30 years to the month of February 2019, the original WWE Women's Tag Team Championships were retired. Hmm. Right? Fun Kinky. fact, huh? 
that's yeah, that's that's not the word I'd use, but okay. Right. Woodstock fifty coming to Watkins Field in August. So what is this doing under wrestling? Oh, I'm sorry, this is under etc. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry. All right, so Woodstock fifty. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, What's uh, Woodstock, Tom, for our uh, younger listeners? Woodstock is something you youngsters can look up on the old YouTube. <laughs> no, it's a, <laughs> it was a uh, music music festival to promote peace, happiness, love. Um, they did it in 99. It was a fucking oh, debacle. God, yeah, that's right. There was mud being slung. Like, it was, like, I know my uncles went, and they came home, they're like, Jesus fuck it. Like they looked like they just they walked through war. Well, didn't they do they did a Woodstock too, right? In like ninety four. Well yeah, that's the one that But then they did another one in ninety nine right after and then it was like, Oh yeah, this is bad. This was bad news. Yeah, yeah. Because this was it was too soon and shit like that. Yeah, this like, one it was fires. Like yeah. it was bad. Yeah, this one is uh yeah, I think uh Anthony Kiedis actually had to go please Please don't set the porta potties on fire. Oh my god, I remember. Yeah. I remember seeing that on MTV. Um, which was a music uh, television network. Yeah, which now plays youngsters. Real World and Jersey Shore and Pregnant at night, uh, 12 or some shit. Nice. Right. Yeah. Uh, another thing. All right, Nation. Nation. I love you guys. I can't believe I have to say this shit. Please stop with the fucking bird box challenge. <laughs> have you seen this shit? Yeah, I, I know about it. Just. Just stop. And actually, I heard YouTube is uh, going to start banning any of these, like, pranks and, like, challenges. And yeah, because it perpetuates fucking nonsense. Stupidity. And, idiocy and Yes. And endangering oneself. And, you know, we don't want that. We don't want to see that. We want to see everyone in the Rude Nation be happy, healthy, and safe, basically. Yeah. And participate. Yeah, partic- yeah, yeah. What you do? If you're going, if you're going to do any challenge, challenge yourself to participate in our polls and our questions that we give out to you guys. Amen, amen, Tommy. And is that it for Blitzkrieg news? That's it for Blitzkrieg. All right, Tom, tell the nation what you've been up to this past uh, couple of days. Well, I finished uh, Necroscope One, All right, which was the book, book that I was listening out. to. Which I really thought it was like ba- like based off like vampires and whatnot. Uh-huh. Yes, vampires is a huge part of it, right? But it's also like you know people with like psychic abil- like different psychic abilities, and that okay, they could do different things. Very cool series. I know I'm like twenty years fucking late to this series, <laughs> okay, but it's fucking tits. Nice. I've also read. I started listening to Necroscope too. Oh, all right, cool. You Which is the continuation. Went right into it. Absolutely, nice. and I got three on deck. Nice. I've also, I uh, for Switch, I purchased uh, this game called Donut County. Tell me about this, because this it's, was something that was uh, on a lot of people's Game of the Year lists because of, like, the quirky nature. Yeah. So, it takes place underground of this town. Okay. This raccoon owns a donut company. Like but video. every time someone orders a donut... He sends these holes that swallow up their, like, you know, their property. So okay. it's like, you know, you, you're going around controlling this hole, and, you know, it's just like, oh, I, you know, when your hole gets big enough, you're just like, oh, I don't like that mountain there anymore. I'm going to okay. eat the mountain, and then your hole gets bigger, and then you can eat a house. Okay. Or you can eat a mountain house. Okay. You know, like, it's, it, and, like, you know, it's cool because, like, if you go over fire, you know, you get, all of a sudden, you can start shooting fire up okay. out of the hole. Okay. Uh, it's a fun game. Uh, I think it's like twelve bucks. I do. Yeah, it's around that price range. Yeah. I do. I I, it's, I, on, I, it's on pretty much everything. I understand, right? It's like it's on like I know it's on iOS. Yeah. So it's probably uh, on Android I, also. It's not on Android actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. I looked. Okay. Uh, I definitely would recommend it on the Switch. Though. Okay. Awesome. I do enjoy yeah. it. Uh, I also listened to on Spotify Wolverine: The Long Night. Okay. Where that is about Wolverine. He's in Alaska. He doesn't have a, a memory. Shocker. Yeah, wow. Um, what a character change. And there's, yeah, and there's like a murder that happens. And, you know, of course they're blaming Wolverine because, like, they got, yeah, you know, like the victims have claw marks and teeth right. marks and typical anti mutant bullshit. It was Sabretooth. Uh, no. Prove to me that it wasn't Sabretooth. It was. I, it was this. You don't ra- have to spoil it. I'm just, right. I'm just busting chops. Uh, the guy that voices Wolverine mm-hmm. is I'm going to butcher the name because I always do. Okay. Uh, Richard Ar- uh, Ar- Armitage. 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 Yeah, okay. he he played Thorin in uh, 
the Hobbit movies. Okay. Anyway, I was like, that name sounds really familiar. I look it up, and I was like, I could see him playing Wolverine on the uh, on the big screen. Really? Yeah. Okay. And he, like, a good the, voice? Yeah. Well, obviously, if he, yeah. if he was cast to voice Wolverine. Okay. And I started watching Batman the Animated Series. Did you which, now? Uh, yeah, some asshole got it for me. Hmm, fuck no. him. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, no, very cool. Thank you again. You're welcome. Um, I, f- I totally forgot what episode I like. It's weird. Like, it, it's a cool setup. Like, it seems like they definitely changed it up from the original box set. Mm-hmm. Like, you have all his, like, rogues in, like, you know, on the first disc. Like, oh, you like, know, kind like, of like an intro to, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how the Spider-Man animated series was. Right, like, yeah. The first season was just, like, Lizard, Doc Ock, Mysterio, yeah. Hobgoblin, like, boom, That boom, seems boom, like boom, how boom. they've set it up, because I right. don't remember them broadcasting that way. Yeah, probably, yeah, there is a It was very jumpy and, Yeah, like, you know, production date versus air date. Yeah. There's always a difference. When I mean, that, especially that era, when yeah. it was, like... You know, they're sending... They're literally sending animation cells over to, like, Korea. And then they're mm-hmm. like, oh, shit, well, we got this... This episode ready. Just throw it out there. You know what I mean? So. Still, to this day, my favorite thing is when Harvey Dent gets, like, blown up. Right. And Batman just turns around and goes, Harvey, no. Still, for some reason, I fucking crack up. That's I cracked up about it when I was younger. I crack about it. I crack up about it now. Nice. So it sounds that like you're having a good time. is what I've been up to. That's what you've been up to? What have you been up to? Well, I've been up to... I've been playing... Uh, I'm still in the Smash Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I got about, a, as of recording right now, about over 800 spirits. Okay. I'm still doing World of Light. Mm-hmm. If you haven't touched any of that? You've just been getting characters and shit like that? I got all the characters. i just kind of been trying to beat it with everyone, which I, got you. I think I might have. Really? Okay, cool. Like that, That's something I haven't really touched on. It. It's just really been adventure mode and spirit boards. Right. Pretty much. Okay. And then like, I've just been bouncing. Like Every so often I'll just be like, I'm bored of this. Let me just go through classic mode real quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like World of Light, man, just keeps on going. Okay. It's getting, it's getting to a point. It's just like... Man, but I will tell you this. Mm-hmm. There are some segments in the game that are straight up beautiful send-offs and homages to Castlevania mm-hmm. and Street Fighter and Donkey Kong Country. Like, you'll come into an area, like a little sub-area, okay, and it's like the map from Donkey Kong Country or like the layout of Castlevania, like from the NES game. Okay, It's, it's so funny. And it's like, oh, this is great. And then they obviously have the spirits to kind of like symbolize where you're at. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm in the Castlevania mo- uh, area right now, and it's really funny because you're running into like re deads, which would be when you run sure. into the zombies, and you run into the skull man is when you run into the skeletons. Like, it's cool stuff. Huh? I'm, I'm enjoying I'll have to it. Check it out. I'm still plugging along on it. Okay, I'm going to cool. get it 100, percent and then I'm going to move on to classic mode. And I have still not touched really any. Of that game, you yeah. Know what I mean, because like the multi man battles, the cruel me- melee, the cruel smash, and all that stuff, I haven't touched it yet. Sure, yeah. Yep. Uh, I also f- played and finished up Starlink. Cool. So, like I've mentioned before, it's a game from Ubisoft where it's like a basically like a starship simulator. You run around on different planets mm-hmm. and try to help colonize them. And the plot is so fucking stupid, but it is absolutely very ambitious. Like the they're definitely setting a. They're, they're definitely universe building. Like, they're talking about your faction and the opposing faction and the history of them and, like, the different characters and this and that. And I don't give a crap about any of that. Star Fox is in the game. Sure. So that's exactly why I played the goddamn yep. game, because a Star Fox is in it. And I beat the Star Fox mission. Okay. Fun stuff. I beat the... And then I just beat the regular mission. Really not much of a challenge, especially, like, because I kept going... It was like I just kept going from planet to planet to planet. I would go to one planet and basically just kind of, like, not necessarily 100% it, mm-hmm. but just, like, get enough of it that I'm like, okay, cool, I can move on. Sure. You know what I mean? I sure. felt good about, like, I got enough. I can okay. move on. Um, pretty good game. Again, very ambitious. Uh, just make a fucking Star Fox game, please. Ubisoft, thanks. I appreciate get that. Get on it, bitches. Yep. Uh, I also played the, uh, I think it's called the One Shot Resident Evil 2 demo. Okay. That came out for uh, PS2, uh, blah, PS4 yeah. and Xbox well, One. Welcome to 2019. Barp. And uh, what it is, Tom, it's a demo for Resident Evil 2. Okay. Uh, the remake that's coming out in a couple weeks. How's it look? Gorgeous. Okay, nice. Um, I'll have to check it out. Not, necessi- not really the most tense uh, game I've ever played, which, again, it's That you've played so far. True, yeah, it's a very early piece of the game you're in the uh, 
be like, you're in the police department uh-huh. doing a little, uh, little mystery stuff. solving, okay. you know what I mean? And uh, the gimmick of this thing is that it's only a half hour long. So you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you can do in a half hour. Once that half hour hits, it's, it cuts the demo off. Huh. You know what I mean? So it's no beginning or end. You just kind of go in there and just fuck around. Okay. Basically like that. I've seen people actually get super far in only like three minutes. Because they, you know, they probably just like know where the keys are and know what the combos are. Right. Yeah. No, that would be me. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Vigi games. Uh, me and my girlfriend finished up Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, book four of the Harry Potter series. I'm and sorry. I am sorry. This you... book. Actually, I will say this. This is one of the few ones that I feel the movie is superior to the book. The movie's pretty good, but the book is fantastic, man. I loved mm. I loved it. I just love the no, whole you know. game mechanic. I guess I do. Don't fucking tell me why. <laughs> I, mean, I love that book, man. That's no, a know. great book. That's gotta be, I mean, so far in this reread, that's my favorite. I'm sorry. It'd probably go one, I'm sorry, four, one, three, two. And I dreaded, we've started book five. Pretty, good. Um, uh, Order of the Phoenix. Good. And I dreaded it. It's great. I was like, ugh. It's so it's good. Not, it's not it's so good. It's so, so much It's so much better. I'll tell you, the writing is leagues better than the first four books. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, I don't want to... I'm so tired of you, Harry. Just stop. Yeah, you know... You, you know Again, what, I understand it's necessary, but it's just like... You know what I think the thing is that killed me about Goblet of Fire? What is it? House elves are meant to be fucking slaves. That's the thing. I hated that a subplot whole, of a subplot. I really, hated like three chapters worth I, of a fucking book. Three fucking chapters too fucking long about fucking house elves. Fuck Dobby. You fuck have him up his tournament. Ass. The rise of Voldemort. The resurrection that killed, of Voldemort. That shit killed it for me though. That bullshit fucking took me out of the moment. There's more took chapters me. of Quidditch than there are about Spew. Right. And then fucking Spew comes spewing all of its fucking bullshit all over my fucking brain hole. And You do you have a what? hole in your brain for yeah. not liking Goblin of Fire. No. You know what? Fuck House Elves and fuck Dobby. That's all I gotta say. I've got no problem with that. But the fact that... Dobby's I, garbage. But, but Tom, this is classic Tom right now where one little thing ruins the whole... Damn thing. right. And I feel like you're you're being foolish. You're a fool. I think you're lying to yourself that this is a good book. It's a great book. I also rewatched the first Spider Man movie. The Tobey Maguire Spider Man movie. God Sam damn it. Raimi Spider Man movie. Tom thought I could put this on the notes, Spider Man. And he wrote the game and I said, We shall see. So we rewatched me and my girlfriend. Spider Man. And I do. I didn't hate it as much as put the bottle down. I didn't hate it as much as I thought I did. Don't snap. Oh no, you're getting the snap, bitch. No. And so I want to talk about it a little bit. I'm so mad at you right now. Tobey Maguire's portrayal of Peter Parker sucks. Is fine. It's like satisfactory. Adequate. Like he looks like a good Peter Parker. I hate Tobey Maguire's acting. I hate how he talks. I hate his cadence. I hate his fucking blank ass stares. I understand mm-hmm. Peter Parker's supposed to be a little awkward, but like, man, he just, it just sounds like I'm just reading a script. Like, mm-hmm. uh, just the peak as the stylist who would usher Marvel Comics into the 21st century, Mr. Osborne. Like, what? Yeah. It's like, shut the fuck no, up, I know. man. Willem Dafoe and James Franco as the Osbournes? Yes. I dug. Okay, I, I agree. really like that. I'll agree. I thought, again, like I said this before, with um, first season of Iron Fist, uh, the Meachams, mm-hmm. that was a good, what I thought Norm and Harry... Should be. Yes. Could be. Could be, yes. Um, but Willem Dafoe and James Franco, again, like, seeing them, I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah. I still like that. Um, man, that Green Goblin costume is stupid, but... Yes, it is. Did you ever actually see the video? The actual, uh, yeah, like the yeah. animatronic, what they wanted to do. Yeah, I would have liked. Like, you want to get one of the, one of the, like this this highly acclaimed actor with a very um, well emotive face, and let's put him in a Power Rangers helmet. Yeah, like that's basically what that happened. I again, I know you wanted to kind of do your own thing. I respect that. Fuck you, but Sam Raimi. Definitely, you definitely see like 
after that, they're like, oh shit, okay, Dr. Octopus is now just doing a trench coat with tentacles, and Sandman literally is wearing the shirt he's worn every issue in the comic books. Like, there was a little bit, there definitely was a little bit of blowback, had to have been. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was fine. What about when, <laughs> when fucking Aunt May is saying the prayer? <laughs> Finish it! Oh, no, 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 no. Um, There's definitely corny moments. This is definitely an early ass superhero comic. Yeah, no, nah, I'm sorry, Andrew Garfield, better Spider Man, and honestly, better Peter Parker. I think he embodies both, and I, I think you know what, you know what, I, I think I'd have to, I'd have to rewatch him again. Well, now all, that they're fresh in my head, all still, we need, t- still Tom Holland. I feel all we need to watch which, is Amazing Spider Man. Amazing Spider Man Two is not as good. If I'm gonna watch all of them. I'm gonna watch all of them, Tom. Okay, what you should have done uh-huh. is you should have made your girlfriend me watch you play <laughs> Spider Man <laughs> on PS4. That's what you should have. I fucking. have heard that that is a good movie. Basically, while you're playing in the Spider Man Sam Raimi costume, there you go. So it's like you're watching Spider Man with Tobey Maguire. Something I do want to mention. I'm so mad at you right now. I'm sorry. Something I do want to mention. No, you're that not, because you're going to do it again to me. I'm going to watch Spider-Man 2. Something I want to mention while we're still talking about Spider-Man. Shock, I know, Nation. The end of the trailer. Flash gushing about Spider-Man. Yes. Oh, yeah. man, I love it. And then that. I just love how, like, Peter just gives the thumbs up. Like, yeah. He's like, sup, dickweed? <laughs> yeah, like, like I... Oh, yeah, man, that was that, really that cool. That is Flash Thompson right there. Yep. And you got him. I dug like, I, Very I, simple, I dug especially that. that early of a Flash Thompson. Yeah. But, yeah. And uh, I believe that's all I've been up to. I think so. And that's all I've been up to. So, Nation, we told you of what we just were doing. Let's tell you of what we're going to be doing. And that is getting hyped. <sighs> oh, yeah, brother! Getting hyped! Ooh, Ooh, Nation, cream of the crop! I'm hyped, motherfuckers! Ah, 2019, full of all the things. <laughs> Chris just pooped his pants. No, uh, is that what that is? No, it's not. I pooped my pants! So, we're going to go in... Man, we should have probably ordered this, but this is a ton of stuff. Ton of stuff, Nation. Ton, ton, ton of stuff. We're you not going to talk about all everything. You thought Blitzkrieg was fast. Wait. I, was Blitzkrieg fast? It was fast-ish. It was, what it, was. It, it, it was one of the faster ones. From topic to length, yes. Yeah. It was fast. I agree. All right, so here's some stuff that's coming out in 2019, Nation. All okay. right, with the, as as the, the dates that we actually researched. <gasps> Yep. Chris researched. I yeah. didn't research dickle. All right, so let's talk about some video games. All right, video games. What do we got coming out? Resident Evil 2. Are they calling this remake? Nope. Resident okay. Evil 2, straight up. Resident Evil 2, straight up, January 25th. So, Nation, the week next this, week. Uh, next, the week after this post. Yes. And, yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I would definitely say play it, Tom. You should te- check out the demo. Check Nation, it out. Check, check out the check, demo. Check, check it out. And, yeah, I, I'm going to. Pick it up eventually. I'm, nice. I don't have the time right now to pick it up, but yeah, Resident Evil 2, definitely want to check it out. Kingdom Hearts 3, January 29th. Right after it, man. Yeah. Um, what's, your, uh, what, what's your issue with Kingdom Hearts? What's my issue? History. Oh. Um, what is your issue with Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I don't actually have an issue with it. Okay. Do you have a history with Kingdom uh, Hearts? I do. I play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and I enjoyed the shit out of them. So there you go. Yeah. But I was hearing that, like... Is it's gonna be a lot of like fucking DLC? Like we're 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 we're, we're Where getting. Where did you hear that? I didn't hear anything like we're, that. We're, we're 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 pretty much getting half a, a half game. Oh my god! So stop. yeah, this is the game that people have been waiting decades for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're gonna fuck it up. Yeah, sure. I hear though it is more Disney, more new Disney, I should say. So Frozen, Tangled, Big Hero Six. Okay. Um, Big Hero 6, I'm down for. Right, yeah. But, I mean, I'll, you, I'll fly around a lot on your, like, classic classics. Disney. Yeah. Which I hated playing as the fucking Lion in, Lion in the Lion King stage in, I think, number two. That, okay. because the controls, I just feel like... I hated doing that almost as much as I hated playing as a fucking merman. Oh, yeah, I heard I'm not, that. That's notoriously bad. I'm not fucking Aquaman, god damn it. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. King Hearts gonna be awesome. Finally, can't wait. Finally, yeah. After three thousand years, ooh, three. Jump Force, February fifteenth. This looks sick. This looks yep, fucking. So this is a combination of all the Shonen Jump. Yep. Uh, manga characters, Goku, Luffy from One Piece, Naruto. Right. 
Um, Barney the Dinosaur. I think uh, Ronald McDonald is in the mix. Um, really? Ronald McDonald? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because in Japan, he's got this whole fucking manga series out All there. All right, so it, there's actually a better game coming out called Devil May Cry 5. Same day? Coming out March 8th. Not the same day. Okay, yeah. No. Sheesh. I thought you did research. I don't remember the fucking <laughs> I don't remember the <laughs> Uh, uh, Devil May Cry 5 nah. looks fucking fantastic. How was the demo way. you said you were going to try out? It looks... <laughs> looks awesome. I can't wait. Cool. Um, Mortal Kombat 11, as we talked about. We just talked about that. April yep. 23rd. Right, more Mortal Kombat. Day after a certain asshole's birthday. Some, some asshole, yeah. yeah. Yeah, some asshole was born April 22nd. Hello. Hello. Luigi's Mansion. Three. Yep. So now Three. we're getting we're getting into the non dated games that are still presumably coming out in twenty nineteen. Rumor mill. Man- yep. Rumor. And, um. So yep. Third, we just mentioned coming out to Switch. Yep. I love it. Pokemon. Did you play the second? You didn't play. I'm mean, not the second. You play, you didn't play the original. We just mentioned. Right. You played oh. Dark Moon. Yes. How'd you like it? Loved it. So there you I go. Will be getting we just mentioned. Yep. Hell yeah. Pokemon Switch. Yep. So the next generation of Pokemon games. They've been Pokemon talking about games. this for like nine years. Yep. Well, yeah, because this is going to be like the closest to a legitimate console Pokemon experience you're going to get, mm. even though it's on a console handheld hybrid system. Right. Pokemon, get hype. Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Oh yeah, oh, I should man. get hype for this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I agree. I agree one hundred percent. Still waiting on a date. Oh, it comes soon. Me too. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Coming out on the Nintendo Switch. The new Fire Emblem Vigi game. Uh, Tom, God, I am Tom so is... hard right now for mm, that. All right, okay. Yeah, I've been hard a lot for this episode. Yeah, it's even, pretty much all episode. Daemon X Machina. This is that mech game that got announced last E3. For oh, cool, Nintendo I'm hard Switch. like a mech. See? Oh, yeah, all right. Hard cool. steel. Mm, hard. Last of Us 2. Right, so again, no no official date yet. Um, still presumably coming out twenty nineteen, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Could be twenty twenty. Yep. For PS five, I don't know, but I just it's on the list. I just Get wanted hyped. to come out. Yeah. Yep. Did you finish? You finished Last of Us. Okay, oh, yeah. you did. Yeah. All right, good. good, good. Uh, Ghost of Tiramisu. <laughs> Tiramisu. <laughs> Take another stab at that. Tarashima. Ghost of Tsushima. Hmm. I think it's Tiramisu. Okay. Goes right. to anyway, what is this? That's oh, the, we talked uh, about this. The ninja slash samurai game from Sucker mm-hmm. Punch coming out okay. on the PS4. All right, yep, cool. It was one of the four games that Sony decided to highlight on their E3, mm-hmm. and it looks pretty dope. Okay, and cool. And still no specific date. We'll see what happens if it comes out this year. Okay. Because you know Death Stranding ain't coming out this year. No, no definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, so the second of the uh, rebooted Doom... Uh, series, I guess you want to say. I okay. Don't know. But yeah, Doom was fun. I played it on the PS4, bought it on the Switch, sold it off the Switch. Um, but yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Yeah. Star uh, Star Wars Jedi: The Fallen Order. This is the game that we talked about way earlier out in Blitzkrieg News. This is the one that's being done by Respawn mm. Entertainment, um, the Titanfall people. Right. Um, right. Still, really nothing concrete. Okay. Maybe it's coming out this year. We'll see. Okay. Video um, games are a lot very yeah, ambiguous, very, you know what I mean? Uh, Bloodstained. Bloodstained should be fucking coming out this year. Should have be came out last year. No, but... no, I don't believe it because I've been hurt. I've been hurt for a fucking year. A year by this That's game. True. And god damn it. We need it. I really do. We need it. I need it. We need in it. my mouth, in my game, like just everywhere. I need it now. Mm-hmm. Give me fucking Bloodstained. Untitled Goose Game? The fuck? This is a uh, this is an independent game mm. where you basically it's like a goose simulator. You run around and just trying to be an awful goose, streets stealing of, people, stealing people's sandwiches. Streets and of shit. Rage Four. I, there's not enough time to put on this untitled goose game, but all right. Streets I, I of Rage Four. That you want to move on? I really fucking do because right. I, the fact that you put that on makes me want to hit you as hard as not. This game looks fucking fun. All right, shut the fuck you up. Put, Streets of Rage. You 4. put Spider Man on what you've been up to, but hasn't wasn't the fuck. Game. That's, That's how hard I would hit you. There's a lot of Spider-Man in this uh, episode. Yeah, I know. Streets of Rage Four. Cannot wait. It looks fantastic. Yep. I have been pixel playing. Sort of, not pixel art. I'm sorry. Like hand drawn animation. Yes. I agree. 
we are going on to TV. So TV hypeness. All right, TV hype is hype TV. Oof, man, Stranger Things season three, July fourth. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I hope this is good. Me I hope too. I, I hope this is better than season two. I, I agree. want. I, I, I you need. I love. I love season one. I liked yep. season two. Yep. I need season three to grab me by the balls again, and just kind of be like. I'm gonna just fucking waggle you and fucking just just fucking just jerk you off and just make you love the show again. I just want season three to be better. I don't know about all that other stuff, but I just I'm sick of the buyers. Yeah, yeah. Take a take a back seat there, uh, yeah. Joyce and Will and uh, Moody Kid. Whatever yeah. your name is, Jonathan. Jonathan, thank you. Yeah. Speaking of people, I want to jerk me off. Glow season three. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Does this have an official release date? No, you didn't put one. <laughs> All right, so it's coming eventually. Maybe this year. Who knows? All right, we're Again, cool. rumor mill. Rumor mill. But this next show, we have a definite on. We do have a definite Game of on. Thrones, season 8, April 14th. April 14th, the final scene of season. The I ultimate know. season of Game of Thrones. And Nation, just a little heads up. We'll have something planned for this. Yeah. Don't you worry. Now, let me ask you something, mm-hmm. though. Go right ahead. All right, because we're going to be talking about... Avengers Endgame in the next yep. bit of... What are you looking for more forward to? John and Arya reunion? Or Tony and Captain America reunion? Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm saying John and Arya. Uh, that's funny because I'm going to have to say Tony and... Oh! Uh, Steve. Steve. There you go. Only because like we were talking about some of teasers. Because of how they just fell out. Well, no, because we were also... We saw, yeah, that, that's also true. But we, uh, we saw some teasers... And stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And they showed scenes with Arya and John already there. So it was almost like, yeah, they did. Even if they weren't. I didn't even... see that one. All right, well, it happened. Sorry, Tom. But hey, that shouldn't really diminish, you know, because you don't see them. You didn't see them reunite. You just saw them there. All right, Tom, relax. No, you just. But you, yeah, you, I'm, I'm going to ta- say. You've taken, the piss out, you've taken the piss out of my sail. All right. The wind out of my sail? What else we got? Nothing now. Oh, okay, show's <laughs> over. Fuck it, right. we're done. Uh, no, Star Wars: Clone Wars. So this is the, uh, I guess, the new final season that they're going to put out. I don't know if it's coming out on uh, Disney XD. The final, or final season. Final, final season. This time they're serious. Yeah. Or uh, Disney Plus. I'm not too sure, but this is like the proper wrap up mm-hmm. season that Clone Wars um, should have gotten. Yeah. Show's Hopefully cool. Some, yeah, you shows, watch any I, I some not. I really kind of the earlier seasons where it was like a it's, lot of bullshit. It's kitty a fucking bullshit. lot. It's yeah. a lot of shit. But I, yeah, the later seasons I heard were yeah, so uh, yeah. So um, yeah, here you go. More Clone Wars, more Star Wars, more, and then you have uh, the Mandalorian showing yep. up on DC Plus, which I believe DC Plus. You sure about that or Disney Plus? D- Disney Plus. Shut yeah. up. It's a late night. It's a late night recording. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that because I've always said you can have Star Wars Tales without fucking Jedi. No, you're going to Star Wars Tales without fucking... Without this fucking Without Skywalkers. the fucking Skywalkers. But I'm also now making that a larger umbrella and including the Jedi. You could have fucking Mandalorians, <sighs> Bounty Hunters. You can have yes. Crime Lords. You can have... You can have people, like, like smugglers. You can have this shit. You can have fucking governmental politics and bullshit and blockades. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Just, I don't need any more space magic. I mean, I want more space magic, but you know, it's not I don't enough want magic in the in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but yes, I, I'm I'm hyped for this. This what? is definitely something in the Disney Plus wheelhouse. Disney Plus, not DC Plus. Disney Plus wheelhouse that hopefully put the glass bottle down. That um, will definitely pique my interest when this well, gets announced. Why do you make me hold glass bottles like this? You have rage issues. Well, you you bring them out. Uh, okay. What we do in shadows. So there's a television spinoff coming yes. out uh, in the, based in the same universe of the movie of the same name, mm-hmm. um, and that's pretty much all. Uh, that's all we all have we right now. Yeah. So. I know there was like a spinoff. Some some in Britain. There's some sort of weird spinoff of universe. Yeah, show. It's fucking Britain. Yep. Um, but yes, funny movie. Yeah. Same I same concept. I enjoyed the shit out of it and shit like that. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Coming to Netflix, I believe, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yes. Yeah. For the first time. Well, I mean, like, the first streaming time, yes. Yeah. 
Um, cool. I'll check it out. Apparently getting redubbed or re-subtitled. I don't know. Cool. Reworked. Just, just get Kevin Conroy to voice everyone. Okay, yeah, that'd be really funny and weird. Um, yeah, okay, it'd be the first time to see it. Yeah. Anything else on TV? Uh, or is that it? TV's that pretty slim, because a lot of bullshit we don't watch. Mm, here we go. Movies. All right, here we go. Nation. This is the meat. This is the just the bloat. This is just everything. Just fucking buckle up, bitches. It's going to get bumpy. It's going to get hypey. Mm, yeah, you're going to take my bloatiness. Reign of Superman, January 29th. This is a uh, DVD release, correct? It's, yes, and yeah. they actually just did a event where they showed the death of Superman and Reign of Superman. Right, so Reign of Superman is the like, continuation the Superman to... return arc of yes. that whole thing. So Steel, Superboy, Eradicator, and, and Cyborg. Cyborg suit. Good. Right. Oh, I am proud of you, I was my alive friend. That time. I yeah, I know. Yeah. Good, 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 good boy. Good, good. Not gonna go for the bottle. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, <laughs> Captain Marvel, March eighth. There you go. So, it's gonna be cool. I can't wait to see you go Super Saiyan. Hey! <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> fanboy fuckbags. Um, this uh, is gonna be the. I, I I'm gonna have to say this. This movie is gonna be the foundation of the new Phase Four. Phase Four. Yeah. Phase I see four. her Even being. Even though it still is in Phase Three, it's gonna be the foundation of Phase yeah. Four. Hundred percent. Um, kind of with the, the introduction of squirrels and space travel yep. and pr- presumably time travel if uh, Samuel Jackson is to be believed. Yeah, I, 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 when, when we get to Endgame, yep. I'll, I yep. have a theory. Okay, cool. Uh, Us, March 15th. So this is the Jordan Peele movie, the yeah. follow-up to Get Out. I just love to say it. And I know I say that every time you, you bring it up. It's a good movie. Because i got to remind myself in my stupid brain hole. I, don't feel, I feel like every time I mention it in the podcast, you remind yourself. And then after that, yep. stop with the bottle. Uh, but yeah, a spooky movie. Um, invasion of the Body Snatchers or something like that. I don't know. The trailer was wacky. Fucking bizarre. Yep. Bizarro, bizarro. Uh, Shazam, April 5th. So you think DCU can um, ride high on Aquaman's success? What do you think, Tom? Or I do you think, think that was a fluke? I think DC can catch lightning in a bottle again. <laughs> okay. When he says, Shazam! And that is the lightning? <laughs> huh? Yes. Okay. Lightning it comes down bottle. and hits the kid. Right. Yeah. And he dies? Oh my god. No, what he a hits fucking the kid, movie. He hits the kid, turns into an adult, and then he says, Shazam again! So and then oh, lightning comes down again, it. and he turns into I get the it. kid the again. The kid died, and this is him like coping with his death. No, but it's that a, would have been a pretty good story. It, it, right? it really would. Right, <laughs> I would have liked to seen Henry Cavill show up in this. That would have been. Oh, re- so I think he was real, supposed to, right? Superman, yeah, but you know. He well, decides he's, gotta, he's not going to shave. Oh, so we forgot if the, he's not going to shave for fucking uh, Justice we, League. We reshoots. forgot to put that in TV because I think uh, the bitcher comes out on Netflix. We don't need to talk about that, huh? Yeah, no, we don't. Fucking. That's why I didn't put in little notes. Halloween City looking costume. Oh, oh, god! Oh, the next two going fucking rock hard. All right, so the first Rude Boys movie of the <sighs> year, Batman Hush. April that was not 16. what I expected, actually. <laughs> Batman Hush, April 16th. So animated feature, right, Tom? Oh, God, yes, which I believe they're using Jim Lee art as the animation. Really? I oh, believe. Cool. I could be wrong, but, oh, my God, I cannot wait. Tom's uh, a big Hush fan. Big Hush I fan. really am. Like, it's just such a good story. The way it was written, you need to read it. You won't because it's DC. Yeah, you're right. I know. I'm just getting you into good books, yeah, not, not Gobble of not... Fire. <laughs> there it is. There it is. The fucking Zing. Tom shotgun approach. Yep. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be tits. Can't okay. wait. Uh, mm. oh, the next huh. movie. <sighs> April sixteenth. Uh, April twenty sixth. Avengers Endgame. That's it, baby. The, the end, end of Phase Three. That's it. So they're saying time travel. Yeah. Fucking Kang. Kang the Conqueror really, is going to show up. Kang the Conqueror, I'm calling it right now. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Well, they need, I, they definitely need a new big bad mm-hmm. after this movie because Thanos was handled marvelously mm-hmm. from the start of the first Avengers yep. to now, presumably Endgame. Yep. Yep. 
So if Kang's going to be it, then Kang's going to be it. Um, I feel like the scrolls are definitely an underlying mm-hmm. um, enemy, which we will probably develop more upon after uh, Captain Marvel yep. and whatever we see in Endgame. And yeah. Cool. <sighs> hype, hype, hype. Cannot wait. Yep. Cannot wait. And all I got to say is after last night, seeing the Dragon Ball Super Broly people. Right. If any of these nerds start talking while I'm at my other job about this movie, I- I'm going to have to quit. <laughs> like, That's fair. You should just take the whole week off and then see it yourself. Yeah, then, yeah. I'm just, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I, I'll just, I'll have to punch nerds. Okay. Um, movie that I don't mind if it gets spoiled for me, Detective Pikachu. Comes right. out May 10th. The next Rude Boys game of the uh, movie of the year. Game? Well, it was a game, guy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was trying to open it. Detective Pikachu, yes, I've been slapping this drum for months on end. Detective Pikachu, and the trailer looks awesome. The trailer looks good, movie's gonna suck. Movie's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna bomb. Movie's gonna be whimsical, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's not gonna bomb. There's no way it's gonna bomb. There's we'll no to, way it's gonna we'll bomb. We'll have to make a wager. All right, fine. We can make we'll a wager when it gets we'll, closer to we'll the We'll have to make a Rude Boys wager. That's fine. On air. air. That's fine. Okay. How far? Uh, when? How soon? After May tenth. May tenth, as opposed to April twenty sixth. Yeah. All right. So like two weeks. Okay. Yeah. 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 John Wick three, May seventeenth, which I know they just released this. They trailer. did just see a trailer. I didn't see it because again, I haven't seen any of the John Wick movies. So yeah. she can't watch with your girlfriend right now. Did you see? You um, saw John Wick, right? Hmm. You saw the first one. I did. Did you? I did. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you actually watched it. I did. Okay. I. I I did. Okay. I knew you were there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Are you going to see it again soon or no? What? John, 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 Wick? John Wick? Yeah. I'm actually going to wait until John Wick, John Wick 2, and John Wick 3 are all out in a box set. Then I'll pick it up. Okay, cool. So. Wow. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of faith from the brand. Brightburn, yes, we talked about this uh, a couple episodes ago. May 24th. James Gunn's, like, evil Superman tale. Yeah. If Superman was evil. Ultraman, if you will. Ultraman, yeah, I guess. This what is, be... is Ultraman's origin From the same Earth as... 3. Right, but is his origin the same as Superman's, but just he's evil? Like, did he still I land so. in I... Earth 3 Kansas or whatever? Or, like, Earth 3, like... Trump America. I don't know. Okay. Um, I know, you know, Earth 3, Owlman's really fucked up. Like, he actually, like, he killed his parents. Right. Like, mm. All right. Um, that was really... Yeah. All right, so Brightburn. I'm very... I'm soaked for that. That looks pretty neat. Yep. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, May 31st. Looks pretty awesome. Can't not wait for it. Did you it. see Godzilla or King Kong Skull Island? I did not which see King Kong Skull Island, which I, I I believe it's on. And because I know, I believe next year, the next one is called Godzilla vs. King Kong. Oh, so after this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Spoiler. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we saw it coming. Exactly. Yep. Dark Phoenix, June 7th, report, reportedly the last X-Men movie for yep. Fox. Yep. Not including New Mutants, even though well, New Mutants is... Even though, like, this even though New Mutants is being X-Men. reshot 800 times. Yeah, even though this isn't branded as X-Men, yeah. it's still... And, I mean, New Mutants definitely isn't branded You want to talk X-Men. about a movie that's... I found out last night that the guy who wrote that steaming pile of turd shit. Turd, turd shit. shit, yeah. Exactly, I heard turd it. shit. Double turd shit. Fucking is the guy that... Wrote what? The guy that wrote that turd shit, X3. Okay, let's stand. Wrote this. R- wrote Dark Phoenix? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, he had experience writing Phoenix storyline then. It's gonna be trash. Like, I found that out last night. I was like, I don't really want to watch this now. Huh. I'm good. I hate their costumes. I like their costumes at like the tail end of Apocalypse. Right? Because Why are we getting those costumes, fucking costumes? Now, now those you are have, 90s. Like, the new X Men costumes. Yeah, I know. I, and I hate Which is the, fine, I hate, but it's like, No, you know. no, it's not. It's horrible, and you're bad for saying it's fine. It's, it's not. It it's just, bad. It just doesn't look good in real life. It's. It, it it was horrible on paper. Yeah, but it's like. It, it, no, nope, like, horrible it's on like, paper. Uh, it's like how they had the dark leather in the Brian Singer X Men movies, the originals. Right, because they were trying to go with the black the leather, look, right? the ultimate look slash the Grant Morrison look when he took over New okay. X-Men, and that was fucking trash, just like how this is fucking trash. All right. Not a fan. All right, cool. 
Uh, Child's Play. The I put this on television. Video. Is this television? No, no, this is, we're in the movie section. Yeah, this is a movie. I know. I thought they. I thought I heard that <clears> they were doing a Child's Play TV show. Maybe, Maybe that was I a got Fever it all Dream. Wrong. That I might this be. Was a movie. That might have been Fever Dream though. Okay. I, I could be lying. So, okay. but yeah, June twenty first. That's cool. Um, not really needed. Not really needed to be made as sure. a reboot. Well, I mean, isn't that series kind of just like in the weeds at this point right now? Oh, yeah. But like, so Bride you of Chucky, Seed of Chucky. Yeah, you don't need this. <clears throat> you don't. Okay. Moving on to toys that keep coming alive. Toy Story 4, June 21st. Same day, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Hope hope Mommy doesn't take uh, little Becky to uh, the wrong movie. Mm. Uh-oh. Someone's going to be in the projector booth. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big fat cock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you never saw Fight Club? Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Right? You're right, okay. Exactly. All right, so Toy Story 4, get ready to cry. Yeah. I that's, sub, that's the I, unofficial I, I still haven't, I've briefly seen the trailer where I'm like, nope, I'm going to cry. I'm out. That's Fuck the trailer. It. It's Pixar. <laughs> All right, fine. That will make us cry. Once upon, once upon a time in Hollywood, this is Tarantino's flick that he's, yep. why Star Trek 4 is probably shelved. June 26th. Oh yeah, this is why. This is, well, no, this is like being his like new baby. Right. Um, this is about the Charles Manson murders. Something like and that. And Margot Robbie plays Sharon Tate. I think so. Um, no, that's... There's no I think so. That's what it is. All right. I, so tell me with a little more confidence. It is about the Charles Manson murders. Okay. And Margot Robbie plays Sharon Tate. Okay. So moving on. Cool. Spider-Man Far From Home... Far From a Home. A little movie called Spider-Man Far From Home. July 26th. Mm-mm. The but, next Rude Boys movie of the year. But I thought Spider-Man got dusted in Infinity War. Not according to Sony. Hmm. Also, there is some... So, so this was pretty much confirmed from Amy Pascal that just... Who? The Sony executive. Oh, okay. The, she just likes to run her mouth. Oh, She's right, the one who's yeah. like, Venom can show up in Marvel movies. Yeah. And Kevin Feige is just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, she, we did not talk to you about that. Yeah, it's like, bitch, shut up. She says that this takes place minutes after Endgame. So, Kang. You, Kang. Kang. There was something else. I, I, I Man, I can't stop. There's something I want to Actually, this snap was an illusion of Mysterio. Ooh. There was something I wanted to mention about this movie again. This probably would have been a good spot to talk about the trailer, but... Uh, why does his stealth suit look like Spider-Man Noir? That's probably just like a nod. I know. A wink and a nod. It's odd. It's odd, but a wink and a nod. New Mutants, August 2nd. So here you go. Your New Mutants movie we haven't seen fucking For shit now. of. For now. For now, yep, you're right. It's gonna get cancelled. You think? Yeah. Well, already every other Fox movie Property. has been cancelled. It, that takes mm-hmm. place in some sort of ancillary X-Men. Yep. The Doctor Doom movie, the Gambit movie, the X-Force movie. Cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Things get cancelled. Clean in the slate. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Um, you gotta? Do you gotta? Eat a dick. Uh, I don't gotta do that. It, yeah, you are. It, chapter two, it's gonna be my dick. September 6th. Is that the subtitle Yo. for that? Oh my god, that's... I cannot yeah, wait. Stephen I, King went dark. I can't. And really rude. I cannot wait for this. Uh, yeah, you like this way more than I did. Yeah, this was very good. Um, I was not feeling it. I love the... Well, you're a big pussy. Uh, I watched the thing. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> what the fuck? You've been pumping me up beers all night. Come on. <laughs> And I guess I'll drink water now. Yeah, you bitch. There's no three on there. I'm sorry. Well, fuck you. I'm talking. Uh, it's chapter two. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Are, uh-huh. uh, are you afraid of the dark? This really? is a Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, in the same sense of how, like, Goosebumps was, like, kind of like an homage slash, like... Um, what am I trying to say? Anthology to all the Goosebumps books not really mm. anthology but like they pull from this it's gonna be like a little kids anthology movie um with the branding are you afraid of the dark horror comes out in october i think you said october 11th okay so good listening go. yeah i made the list so another mo- reading another movie that comes out october 11th zombie land 2 yep which has been in talks forever yep and it's also the reason why if we mentioned before the venom director is not doing venom 2 because he is doing no, Zombieland 2. Okay. Do you do Zombieland 1? 
Didn't he? I don't know. All right. Research. Not our strong point. Not at all. Okay. Not million two. Cool. About fucking time. Kingsman: The Great Game, November eighth. This is, I think, the last one. Didn't you like the series? I didn't. I didn't see the second one. Oh, all right. But you so, like the first one, though. I love this. I love the first one. All I haven't right. seen the second one. That's why I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. If I see it, I see it. Cool. If I don't, I don't. All right. He dies. He dies. That's a really good Ivan Drago impression. He does. He does. Uh, that's pretty cute. Cool. Wow. Suck my dick. Wow. I don't uh, that at all. Star Wars Episode Nine, December twentieth. Yep. The finale of the new Star Wars yep. trilogy. Get ready for more Skywalker tug. So, actually, uh... Actually, no, there's not really that many Skywalkers left, are there, in this? No. Yeah. Ben is the closest one. That's it. Mm-hmm. And he's actually, a bitch. The old, you know. Maybe Ray. Yeah. Maybe Poe when he betrays everyone. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> nah, nah. shit. Yep. Back... On Poe being a fucking dirty ass traitor. Dirty fuck. Anything else? That's it for my base. Man, we fucking clobbered. That's the that's the whole there's no more movies. No. Nation, there's no more movies no. coming out. And out of all of that, I think only one of them is an or two of them are original properties. Yep. Yep. Hey, whatever. I don't care. Whatever's clever. Making the money, baby. Exactly. Make that money. Wrestling. Wrestling. AEW, yeah, I am man. stoked for this. Like, you? I, did okay. you watch any of the rally? Not at all. Like, uh, any, I saw any some clips. High, okay, all right. So you saw clips. Like, it's cool. Jericho's involved. The Bucks, obviously. Yep. I saw Pac Cody. run out with uh, oh. Hangman. Oh, Pac, 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 P A C, Pac. No, it's pronounced Pac. You don't pronounce it X Pac, do you? Yeah, I do. Well, that's you're retarded. Pronounce. That's you're supposed to. Be. You're retarded. That's no, it's X Pac. You X-Pac. turd. No, it's X Pac. No, it's not. It's X Pac. Right, don't get don't get angry. I'm not. You're <laughs> dumb. Okay. Love you. So yeah, stoked for this. <laughs> I hope I really want this to be some sort of like I've said it on a past cast. I hope this is some sort of competition for WWE because I, WWE is just too complacent right now. Any new promotion is competition. Anything they view everything as competition yeah. in the sense of that that's eyes taken away but from their then, product. So if this is wrestling, yeah, absolutely. If but then bring a, it up, man. Like step your fucking game up. Stop with the same old bullshit. I, no, I hate, man. I understand. You're not gonna watch it. No, I'll read the news about it. Just, My finger will be on the pulse of the AEW. <sighs> anyway, moving on to etc. Hype. Okay, that was never wrestling. I was right. Was it? Right. Yeah. I mean, we got the Rumble coming up, which we're talking about. But yeah, that's a whole other episode. You fuck. All right, jeez. Keep I'm it still, on. Keep it on. Brand. But I'm hyped. Etc. News. All right, etc. Hyped. News on Disney MCU. Oh Plus. hell yeah, hell yeah. Have you heard anything or no? We, no? Got, we do. We gotta wait till Endgame. Okay. Because that's obviously why they haven't mentioned anything yet. Yeah. They want to wait till Endgame to have a new picture and then they will announce what's going on. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get a fucking Shang-Chi movie? Are you going to get Young Avengers? Are you going to get Your Eternals? Are you going to get Black right, Widow? Cool. Are you going to get a Hawkeye wow. movie? You what's said, going on? You said Shang-Chi for some reason. I'm like, don't you mean Shang Tsung? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> wow. Maybe they'll announce a Shang Tsung movie. I'm Maybe they'll fucking... announce a fucking Dracula movie because he's technically a, di- a Marvel property. Disney Prince. Prince of Darkness. Future of MCU. We just said that. Well, I mean, come on, look. It's it, also it's news next. on Disney Plus. Okay, well, look. You know what? It's I'm just reading the list. You read the list wrong. Uh, no, I didn't. Dirt, dirt. You said news on MCU Plus. That's Future of we the go back. MCU. All right, yeah, we just talked about that. So let's talk about Disney Plus news. That's something I'm interested in because they have all the properties that they're going to receive from Fox. Put the guy's bottle down. They have all the properties they're going to receive from Fox. So what are they going to do with them? Who knows? Um, what are they going to put on it? What are the pricing structure? What sort of movies are going to be out on there? Um, Marvel stuff, Star Wars stuff, Disney stuff, Pixar stuff. Fucking goddamn Daredevil better be on this motherfucker. <sighs> I got bad... Mojo. Yeah, because I, I feel like there's some sort of contractual 
agreement between Netflix and Marvel slash Disney that like it's cocked. if it was cancelled then they can't use the characters for like five years or something like that I feel like I saw that somewhere it could have been bullshit but it's bad it's bad it's bad new PlayStation coming yep so we're gonna get some, we gotta get some new news on that That's that's gotta be a thing because they've, oh, they've no. Sony has been very quiet they didn't have a PSX they're not gonna be at E3 they definitely got something to show not yet though Okay. They can't go a whole year without being quiet and just resting on um, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us, and uh, Days Gone. That's a thing. And also Death Stranding. That fucking Days Gone I've been waiting for for like ever. Have you? Yeah. Huh. Mm. Yeah, I know. Mm. I guess I'm not an open book, huh? No, it's surprising me. Why didn't um, you talk about it in the hype? Because I feel like I've talked about it a lot. Maybe this not. Is the first time I'm here. Are you it sure? I don't sure. think you listen to me very well. well could be. Because it could have been mixed into a rant or some shit. Uh, yeah, it could have been. And the last thing for hype, and which is something I'm I'm stoked for, is Woodstock. I am stoked Woodstock for this. Fifty. Right. You know, if it could promote, you know, peace, love, and happiness, I'm down for it. The cool. world needs it. Yep. The world. What the world. Needs now mm-hmm. is love, sweet love. Break it down, break it down. I don't know the rest of the song. What the world <laughs> needs now All right. is love, sweet love. All right. All right. <laughs> I've had a day. Pump em, cunt. <laughs> Rude Nation, we reached out to you guys. Uh, we wanted to ask what ending saga. In 2019, are you most hyped for it? And your choices were the final season of Game of Thrones that we talked about already, the last episode of the new Star Wars trilogy that we also talked about, and the end of Phase 3 of the MCU, which... Did we talk about that, Tom? No, I don't think we brought that up at all. So, in Avengers Endgame... No, we fucking talked about it. And on that note, Tom, what was the far and away runner... Of what won the fucking poll? The end of the MCU phase three. That's it, man. Nation, you guys are hyped, 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 hyped. Yeah. To see the end of the MCU phase three, and I, I is, is that because of how good Infinity War was? Is that because where you want to see the next um, thing where the MCU goes? I don't know. Nobody told us shit, but that's fine because hype has no definition except what you're excited about. That really is exactly. the definition for hype. Are you sad about it? You know what? what whatever. Um, the runner-up for that, the runner-runner-up, was the uh, the final season of Game of Thrones. Yes. Which, again, what are we hyped for? Are we hyped for an ending? Are we hyped to see relationships uh, reconnect or battles and dragons and white walkers and shit? Uh, and again, Nation, we got something planned for that season. Don't you worry. And um, uh, the... Last but not least is the end of uh, Star Wars, the new Star Wars trilogy, which I am I, so hyped mm-hmm. for Star Wars because I'm so hyped to listen to you little bitch fanboys cry about JJ <laughs> Abrams ruined my childhood. Wah! You so, fucking so the same thing pansy. last year, too. It's yeah. hilarious. Well, prove me wrong, nation, and don't bitch about. A fucking movie that you had the root, no the root, creative input on. The Root Nation doesn't bitch about the stuff. Fucking it's the fucking fanboy fanboys. Yep, exactly. Fanboy yeah. The Root fucks. Nation, you guys are handsome, you're beautiful, you download, but you don't listen. But and, and you come out for these polls, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I usually come out for a poll. Oh God. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna pull out of this episode. How about that? Ah. My dad should have pulled out. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> so, Chris, where can the Root Nation... No, but, no we're not up to that yet. We're not no. up to that yet. We got we to gotta hype, we gotta hype the nation with what's coming next. <laughs> if you follow this feed, this RSS podcast, whatever the fuck feed, you, next week you are going to be delighted... To see one of our patented Rude Boy Russell specials. So what, Russell Special 6? 
Not at all. No? It's three. I think it's six. Uh, it's, uh, no, probably four, actually, because we did Mania. Oh, so then we it's did five. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so this one's going to be all about uh, NXT TakeOver Phoenix, <clears throat> and obviously the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble! Yep. So we're going to get uh, talk all about that. Specifically that, because you know your boys like the like the wrestling. We like the we like the guys running rolling around with other guys. We love that shit. Love the tights. We love the tights. We love the colors. Fabulous. No, no shame. Twenty. It's twenty nineteen. Yeah. No, no shame. No at all. harm. No fault. We love you all. Um, so we got that. The next Rude Boys Power Hour Plus episode proper. You're gonna get. We're gonna do a little game night. Oh, what we games we're gonna do? <laughs> Audible. What games we're gonna do? We haven't decided yet. Maybe there'll be some guests. Maybe something good. Maybe something bad. I don't know. I would probably lean towards Bad Nation. It'll be fine because we did we did a we did a game night a couple nights ago. We did a little bit of Risk. We did a little bit of um, Red Cards. We'll do something fun. Yeah, we'll do something fun. Red Cards was fucking fun. Might be some live gaming. Going on mm. some classic gaming. Mm, kinky. Yeah, so get used to that, um, nation. If we want to reach out to you, as far as any polls or anything like that, or you want to just talk to us about. If you want to talk to us about anything Royal Rumble related, we'll reach out to you by all means. But if you want to hit us up on our social media, you can do so at the following places: uh, twittercom forward slash rudeboys four six nine, facebook.com forward slash rudeboys four six nine. Anything on Instagram you want to see? Maybe give it a heart. Instagram.com forward slash RudeBoys469. If you want to hit us up on a electronic mail, a message through the Google Mail, a.k.a. Gmail, that's RudeBoys6969 at gmail.com. Uh, we're on YouTube also, where all our episodes and shit go. Yep, Tom's always super excited to do that. Did you subscribe to the YouTube page? Yeah, you asked me that every Okay, I feel episode. like I forced you to do it. Yeah, uh, you actually went onto my phone and yeah, subscribe. I did that on a... Uh, yeah, I did that. Yeah. You can find our YouTube page at, all lowercase, bit.ly forward slash RudeBoysRudeTube. And we need the subscribers so we can get a fucking custom URL, all right? I like the bit, but come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, fuckbags. Come on. Uh, our episodes are, like I said, on YouTube, but they are hosted from the lovely, lovely people over at Podbean and uh, our proper... Website host is going to be rudeboys.podbean.com. Flick that hyped, bloated bean. Oh God, God, dry heat right now. <laughs> if you want to hit me, Sherm, up on Twitter, I'm at twitter.com forward slash T E H underscore S H E R M S to Sherms. Tom, composed? <laughs> you can get me at Tommy. Underscore cash with a K. There you go. And you can follow his madness and shit. Uh, again, Nation, we're going to see you in a week for the Royal Rumble. And a week after that for Rude Boys Game Night, the first annual. And until then, get better, little DMX. And stay hype. This has been a Wall Street Bangers production. Fuck it.